Hey everyone, welcome back to BDG Reviews, another episode of Sci-Fi Sunday. What we got today is a review of the Quatermass Experiment, otherwise known as the Creeping Unknown. Uh, the basic plot of this movie is, um, uh, a ship was launched into space, and it's coming back down. This was actually, just a quick caveat, this was before... You know, uh, I think space flight in real life was really, like, a, a known thing. You know, it was 1955, so it was kind of just on the cusp kind of thing. So, three astronauts are sent up. This The ship comes back down, it crashes. Um, they go to investigate, there's only one guy on the ship. The other two are nowhere to be found, there's just... Their spacesuits. Um, the records say that, you know, the ship hasn't been opened, so they're just they're just gone. Uh, they bring in the guy who ran this program, which is uh, Bernard Quatermass. Um, same characters from uh, Quatermass in the Pit, but honestly, a very different take on him in this one. I'll get into that a little bit later. Long story short, it turns out uh, the one survivor is infected with like a, kind of like a space parasite or like fungus or something like that, I think it is. And essentially you like sort of drained the other two of blood and, you know, turned them into like goo or and stuff. Uh, so, you know, he's back on Earth there trying to get him better and figure out what's going on and everything. Meanwhile, he's started to mutate. This is a really good flick. Honestly, you know, it's um it's from 1955, so you know it, it's old. It's it's your typical old 50s sci-fi, you know, but with a bit of a twist. And that is, you know, if anyone's seen Quatermass in the Pit, you know the Bernard Quatermass character. You know, a scientist does kind of stuff. In this, though, he's he's kind of a jerk. You know, and I mean, it's it, it's it's interesting to see him as like that kind of jerky character, as opposed to the one from Quatermass in the Pit, where he was more he he was more the good guy. If you will. In this, you can never really tell. Is he supposed to be the good guy or is he supposed to be the villain or what, you know? Um, yeah. But it's a really solid flick, I gotta say. Now, the Blu-ray itself, this is from uh, Kino Lorber. So you know the quality's up there. It, picture looks great, especially for a movie from 1955. Which is, it's, it, it constantly surprises me how good you can make some of these older flicks look. You know, it's it's just... I, I don't know. It's a really, really solid flick. The acting is pretty much believable for all the characters. The picture quality, uh, like I just mentioned, is really good. And uh, this disc is loaded with features as well. It's got... Uh, you know, some featurettes, it's got a commentary. Um, what makes it neat also is there's, as you can tell by the title, there's two versions of this movie. There's the Quatermass Experiment, which was given that title simply because in Britain, when it was originally released, they knew it was going to get an X rating. So they put the X right there on the cover. And um, the Creeping Unknown is what it was released as in the States with some cuts. Um, honestly, the, the effects in this movie, they, they kind of blow me away. I mean, there, there's this, there's a scene where you get, like, a dead guy, and he's been, like, drained or whatever, and, like, all his face is kind of, like, hollowed out, and it actually looks really good. You know, I don't, I don't know how they got away with it back then, honestly, you know? Well, maybe that's the thing. Maybe they didn't. Maybe that's why it was cut over here and we got an X rating in uh, in Britain. Yeah. All in all, though, it's a really good flick. Really fun. 
this is what sci-fi from the 50s should be. You know, last week I reviewed um, uh, Phantom from 10,000 Leagues, and that was just horrible. You know, it was fun, but horrible. This is fun and really good. So yeah, um, also, quick side note, um, I would avoid, they did a remake of this in like 2000 with uh, David Tennant in it. Um, I think I'd probably avoid that. It's, it's kind of, it's, yeah, I, I, I saw some of it and I just, I didn't quite, I didn't quite dig it. I always thought though, uh, Bernard Quatermass is a character that, you know, they, they, they could run with m more, honestly. I think they did Quatermass Experiment, Quatermass in the Pit, and I think there was one other, like, some some something else I can't remember but um yeah it'd be neat to see the character and more stuff so as for a rating I give this an 8 out of 10 really solid 50s sci-fi you know if you want to see a good 50s sci-fi flick Quatermass Experiment and you can pick it up pretty cheap I think I got this for 18 bucks you know for that you can't really go wrong so yeah eight out of ten equator mass experiment aka the creeping unknown good stuff uh I'll leave a link to the trailer below as well as the my patreon my merch shop if you feel like helping out the channel would be appreciated uh that's it for now see you next time